False Trail we're here to talk about today, and it's actually a sequel to a movie you made in the mid-90s called The Hunters. What did it feel like stepping back into the shoes of your character, Eric Backstrom, <laughs> after all this time? I think that was one of the points that it has been nearly 16 years to go back to the character and it was very exciting to, to, to because the first one was ending that he just drove away from the northern part of Sweden and you don't know what happened to him so it was a nice uh, game to play with yourself but what happened to the character during these years. How did it take quite so long to do a follow-up to it because it kind of it, it moves on quite nicely doesn't it in yeah. time? It, very nice and and a lot of producer wanted to to do a second one but the director said no because uh, it was that film and um, uh, I think every year I got uh, telephone calls from journalists that's asking I heard it's going to be a hunter too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, I said. Uh, but um, after about 14 years, he said the, the director himself is a hunter. So he was sitting up there in the north and then this story started to come. And how was it working with Shell, the, the director, Shell Sandoval again? Yeah, it was a sec this was the second time for me. So, so uh, and we had, uh, I, mean, I mean, Sweden is a small country. You often meet each, each other, but me and Shell, we hadn't worked together since uh, the first one, so, so it was very nice to go back. And you mentioned he's a bit of a hunter as well, and you have to do a bit of hunting as well as fishing yeah. in the film, don't you? How would you rate your fishing and hunting skills? I, I, I think it, it, it's one of, of the things with the, with, the, with the hunters movies that every actor has to be in, uh, from the northern part of Sweden, <laughs> and, uh, and you're born with it, you know, with the fish, fishing. The hunting is not so... Uh, I have not been a big hunter, but I'm a very good fisher. Ah, good. So you're able to put them together, your your skills on show in the film a little bit. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Even though your character says, I don't know why we're here doing this, we could just get these fish from the supermarket. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. And of course you've played lots of um, detectives now, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. Obviously The Hunters, now with False Trail or Hunters yeah. 2. Uh, also in things like Wallander, Sebastian yeah, Bergman yeah, as well. Yes, yes. Do you find that you've got a bit of a forensic mind now yourself? Yeah, it starts to getting out. No, it was, m mostly it was in the 90s. Uh, it, it was a, a lot of it was the hunters. It was the Valander and also some Schöbalvale, and uh, and it was one of the reasons that I said uh, um, no to not continue with the Valander. I, I wanted to do the Henning Mankell books, and then I said no uh, to do some other kind of films and so on. But uh, it all comes back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And what does it feel like playing those kind of detectives? Do you find that um, you kind of have little kind of things that you pick up when you're playing those roles about how to judge people and to kind of get what you want out of them? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easier you know, on movie than it is, it, it is in the real life. So, so uh, but of course, it, it happens a lot when, when you are also out, out, out on the street because it happens to me that I'm walking and the police is there and the they really say hello. Do you get a good reception from the police? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are they very happy with how you portray them? I don't know, but uh, yeah, sometimes. Now, in False Trail, um, one of the characters uh, actually accuses your character, Eric, of, of not trusting his instincts and therefore no, going yeah. down the wrong track yeah, yeah. on who's committed the crime. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking that instincts are very important as an actor as well, aren't yeah, they? Do you yeah. find it easy to trust your own instincts? And, and how have you found that in your acting career? Yes, it's always, you have to always take risks and you have to, but yeah, we call it more, I think, not instinct. It, it's like to, to listen to your stomach in one way, <laughs> the feeling of it. And that, that may be similar to a policeman. And Peter Stamora is uh, new to this particular part of the series, isn't yes. he, in False Trail? What was it like working with him? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. We, he is also born in the northern, northern Sweden, so it was our first work together. And, and it was uh, great because it was uh, a really nice co collaboration together with us. We, we were working every night with the following scenes and tried to make this uh, struggle that these two tar characters has. It's like two polar bears in the end, you know, and, and, and really make it. It was really exciting. I loved to work with them. And of course, you know, Scandinavian productions are really receiving a lot of love and have been for a while now in the English-speaking world, haven't they? What do you think makes Nordic Noir stand out for people? I don't know, maybe it's... It, 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 I really don't know. I think it's... First of all, it's very a very cool name, this Nordic <laughs> Noir. It sounds really great. Uh, 
But I think we have a tradition of writing the authors that started really in the in the end of the 60s with Per Sjöval and Sjöval Wale, the, the, the Inspector Beck stories. It's a tra tradition to, to, to make uh, police stories, uh, place them really in the society of today. Uh, they started that tradition and Henning Mankell keep on doing it and, 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 and a lot of more of them. I, I, I think it started there. And I mean, as you say about placing them within the society, because they are quite specific in a way to the Scandinavian countries, but they seem to work also for audiences outside who yeah. might not have ever visited them or know anything about <laughs> Scandinavia at all. Why do you think? Why do you think that is? I don't know. Maybe it's the, it's this you know this little little country Sweden, safe. We called it in the 70s the fol uh, folk, the people's home. For the pol uh, the politics called it the, mm -hmm. the people's home and. Uh, and suddenly that is uh, attacked by criminality and some problem. Maybe that it's a good way to tell a story. I mean, it, it's uh, ordinary people who, who really get in trouble. And do you think it's a good advert for the uh, Scandinavian tourist industry, all these murders and crimes happening? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will go to Easter. No, I can, t I can tell you all, it, it, it say, uh, Sweden is a safe place in my way. <laughs> Now, what's next for you, Wolf, after False Trail? Uh, the next one is uh, um, in this. Actually, it's a new inspect, a new inspector. We we have shoot, shoot a, a, a series now for for uh, about the, the murder of Wolf Palme, uh, uh, and uh, we are planning to do two more Sebastian Bergman. Oh, I was going to ask if you're going to do any more Sebastian Bergman. Fantastic yeah. news! And do you think there might be a, a Hunters Three or the next title after False Trail? I, they have to do it before 16 years. They, they <laughs> can't wait 16 years. <laughs> I only know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. no. Oh, that's that's the end. Yeah, the yeah. line under False yeah. Trail now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the the idea by by the, about the Hunters was it was made for the for the cinemas. It's not made for the television in that way to make a series or something. It's a movie for the cinema.